Hi guys, this video you are going to see what is virtual RAM also called RAM plus in all Samsung mobiles and how it is useful. Also I am going to discuss what are the good and bad things I mean the pros and cons of this virtual RAM. Let's discuss one by one in this video. I framed this video into 10 common questions you are searching and rotating in your head. Hello everyone this is Raj Shekhar from Tech Bunny. If you are interested in these type of videos or gadgets unboxings and reviews don't forget to add this channel into your subscription list by clicking the red color subscribe button and don't forget to click the the bell icon to the side of the subscribe button so that whenever I post a new video in this channel you will be notified. Now it's time to start the questions one by one. What is VRAM? VRAM is also called the virtual RAM. How RAM Plus is used? It uses your internal storage of your mobile to expand the RAM in your mobile without adding any extra RAM. In simple words, VRAM is useful to increase the RAM in your mobile so that your mobile can hold some more background applications in the memory. But you won't notice any performance improvement in your mobile after using the VRAM. Whether it supports in all Samsung smartphones. Yes, it is. But your Samsung mobile must be supported for RAM plus feature. If in case you don't know whether your mobile supported the RAM plus feature, just go to Google and search whether your mobile is supported RAM plus or not by entering your mobile model. Samsung released this RAM plus feature for almost all the mid-range and flagship mobiles from the last year. If in case you are using very older mobile, please make sure check the RAM plus is available or not in your mobile. And again, this feature is only available if you your mobile is running with Android One UI 4.1. If in case your mobile is not up to date, update now itself. And if your mobile is running below 4.1, you won't see this RAM Plus feature. How to enable RAM Plus in Samsung smartphones? To enable this, open settings panel and scroll down. Select battery and device care. Then select memory. Here you see RAM Plus on the last. If you want to skip these steps, just search RAM or RAM Plus in settings. The RAM Plus is turned on by default and selected the RAM also. If you want, you can select any option that is needed for you. But note that you need to restart your mobile to change the virtual RAM. Whether RAM Plus is safe to use? This question is asked by many many of the users even in online also. Yes, it is free and safe to use the virtual RAM in your mobile. That is why the mobile companies are also giving through the software updates. There would be no doubt the virtual RAM is safer to use. On what time virtual RAM is used? This is also second common question asked many of the people. For this question, the answer is if your mobile is running out of memory, then you can use the virtual RAM. For example, if in case your mobile is having 4 GB of RAM, if you open any of the apps like 3 to 4, those apps are occupied the 4 GB of your RAM. On that time, if you try to open any another new app, the existing 4 background apps will close and open the new app because sufficient amount of memory is required to open new application. In in this case, the virtual RAM is very handy for you. It means that the more background apps you are having, the more RAM it consumes. To compensate this only, the Samsung released the virtual RAM, I mean the RAM plus feature for almost all the Samsung mobiles so that you can use it for a prolonged period of time even though it doesn't support the software updates. I would like to say that if your mobile is running out of memory, like if you would try to open two or three apps or maybe five, six apps and it closes, if you try to open another new app, then the virtual memory is needed for your mobile if in case your mobile is having plenty of RAM for example I'm having the Samsung S20 FE this one is having 8 GB of RAM which is more than enough for a mobile even though I'm playing the games and I opened any background applications almost like 2 to 2 and a half GB is free or uh, even though I'm playing the games for this type of mobiles and if in case your mobile is having plenty of RAM it's not at all recommended the virtual RAM it's like charging your mobile with 65 watts charger but your mobile only supports max 25 watts only in simple words it's useless is virtual ram is good for gaming see guys the virtual ram i mean the ram plus feature won't improve your gaming experience if you are a guy who is thinking like if i increase the ram in my mobile so that i can play games very fluidly like without lag no guys the gaming experience seen in your mobile is totally depend upon the type of processor you are having in your mobile the ram doesn't make a sense for your performance but it will keep few of your applications running on the background even though if you are playing the games the one word answer for the virtual RAM is it's not a game changer for the games. What are the pros and cons of virtual RAM? 
when it comes to the pros and cons i mean the good things and bad things there are 50 50 are there with the virtual ram the good thing is the ram is increased in your mobile and you keep more background apps running continuously on the other side the con is it uses your internal storage i mean you have to sacrifice your internal storage for virtual ram it's totally your choice guys whether you want the virtual ram or not as i discussed earlier if it is needed for you then you can go ahead otherwise it useless only can i use external micro sd card for virtual ram i think this question is having many of the people's brain yes you can use the external micro sd card as a ram expander i mean you can use the storage of the micro sd card as a virtual ram but you have to root your mobile if in case your mobile is not rooted you cannot use the external micro sd card as a virtual ram you have to take in care while rooting your mobile it voids the warranty means you lose the warranty of your mobile note this point whether i recommend to use virtual ram or not the smart answer for this question is it's depend on your mobile as i mentioned earlier if your mobile is running out of ram the virtual ram is very much needed for you if in case your mobile is having plenty and sufficient amount of ram the virtual ram is useless for you before ending this video i want to conclude one point guys the virtual ram will only help to do not kill the background running apps in your mobile you won't see any performance improvements after using the virtual ram that's the video i hope you like this information if yes don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you haven't done it myself Roger Shaker you're watching Tech Bunny and I will see you in the next video take care